Hey, it's Ocean and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing yet another video where I'm going to be showing you some amazing lots that you can download off the gallery, place in your game, and have fun with. All the lots that I'm showing you today are going to be in the description down below with each of its corresponding creators so you can just boom, look it up in the gallery and down. This time around, I'm going to actually showcase the lots by the lot type. So we're gonna start off with the pools because it is summertime where I am. So this is the Calico Community Pool version 2 created by Sil Rose on the gallery and I absolutely love it. Okay, so first you have this huge pool here, a nice little kids area, which the reason why it's version 2 is because it was actually updated after Seasons had came out. If you found me from the beginning, you have already seen this lot and you probably already have it <laughs> because I used it religiously like in almost every LP. It was like I was constantly using this lot. Isn't this just like the perfect lot? lot for family like you have this huge pool here and then you have this like kids area over here where you even have the like sprinklers they can splash in the toddler like play gym it's just so fun for the whole family and then you can always grill out and cook over here sit on some swings relax in the hot tub it is a multi-purpose lot for me and i absolutely love it the next lot is the spruce wood public pool on a 40 by 30 lot created by rat boy sims I am obsessed with Evergreen Harbor, so I love lots for this world. And it is so amazing because this is originally a community space when you have this expansion pack. And here, Rat Boy Sims has turned it into a simple public pool. And I love it. I love the art on the outside. As you can see here, it's so <laughs> nice. It just feels real. I love small lots that don't feel overwhelmingly big. And this is awesome for the summertime. Like, do you see the little lining on the outside? Attention to detail. Like, this is a type a pool where you feel like there's a shallow end and a deep end and I freaking love it there is another water slide here lots of lounge chairs we can relax and get a tan now your sims can hire a vendor for this food truck they can also eat over here there's a little mini pool for toddlers like I said you don't want to just want to go to the pool by yourself you want to bring your kids your toddlers and stuff so that's fun they have something to do and then also you have a restroom and look at this the brick walls with the art on the inside of the bathrooms it just it gets me every time i just love the way that this looks it's just it looks so cozy to me for some reason you know without even trying I love me a nice Magnolia Park renovation in Willow Creek. And this one is created by Beth Owen 111. And I absolutely love it. Let's turn the grid off really quick and look at this. So I love when the park just blends in with its surroundings. And I feel like this does that very well. <laughs> There's so much to do here for kids, dollhouse, the science table, arts and crafts. The great thing about this park is that it is a base game renovation and you wouldn't think it i mean there's so many things you can see here to do as an average park you know you can do you know your chest and everything but the way that it's just paired here is just beautiful we can have we have a little outdoor community garden here a little hot tub in the back it's a random hot tub i'll admit but hey it's there i love this tree right here like do you see this and i believe this is the tree that came with cottage living it's base game but it came with cottage living um if you pre-ordered it early or something like that i don't know because i already have it but it is considered base game you could throw a wedding here if you wanted because look we have an altar we have a nice little lake and all of these nice touches dragonflies crocodiles and everything so in game in live mode it probably looks awesome there is something that i never use which is a magic plant sim stump i never ever use that cards you can play cards over here um, your sims have a really nice like covered eating area which is really cool they can grill out here i love the use of this new base game grill that we have and there's a laptop here already so if you don't have certain items already for your sims at your at your house it's kind of cool because you could just come here and do everything you want it's just a really nice lot for some reason it gives me like sims 2 vibes with this nice little open area and the little bridge and stuff here the next Next lot is a complete 360 from where we just came from. It is called the Uptown Splash Park created by Seal Rose in the gallery. And the reason why I'm showing it off is because it's an awesome concept. Um, again, I've used this before, so some of you probably have already seen it, but it's always great to go back to my favorite lots. I have so many lots that I have to show you in the series, guys. Like we have lots for days for you to download, but this is a splash park essentially. So basically what you're gonna do is turn on the sprinklers here. Um, there's some fountains and you can just have your sim go over here and play. And this is awesome 
one for kids and toddlers. Uh, if you come over here, we have a little like makeshift stand where you can make some drinks, you can make some ice cream. Again, your Sim can actually do this. He is having the time of his life. This is such a unique and fun idea for Samai Shuno. It's a way to get wet without having to go to a pool. And that's what I love about it so much. Look at this little area for kids with the swing and the little jungle gym. It's so like nice, modern and like put together. And look at this toddler area. Hello. Like Your toddlers can splash a little and play. It, this is what I love. I love packs that include all ages and all age types. Like give me something for everyone to do. Originally the Kabosh Art Gallery, I think that's how you say it, is here. Just a really nice idea. You have like the graffiti there. It's just so organized. We are now at Ward Park and we're in the good old Del Sol Valley. And what I love are lots that really represent a world and how I envision them. So just find your creative with that same vision that can actually create it. It's just like, thank you so much. So this is the Ward Park created by Lorianne Hoffer. I love this because Ward Park is already a very small lot to begin with. It is extremely small. How can you fit so much greatness in this? Um, I use this in my Noble Legacy and the Sims will come here and play basketball and just have fun. There's a cooler here. It looks like, you know, um, someone came down here and wrote with their chalk. It It's... It's just everything. I love this lot so much. The kids even have a little area to play in. How this creator fit all of this on this tiny lot, I have no idea. One thing I really love about it too is just it just feels like culture. It feels like a whole vibe. Like people know, like come to Ward Park and chill, you know? It's so awesome. Next, I want to show off a couple of restaurants that I really love. So first, we're going to go back to Oasis Springs and check out the Bills Bolorama and Diner created by Equest. Good old Oasis Springs. I love Oasis Springs. It is still my favorite world. If you've been a OG wavy baby, you know that this is my favorite world. And the main thing I love about this is not only is it a bowling alley, that is literally like beautifully decorated. It's given vintage and I love it. But it is also a diner. It is literally a diner. You go here, you know, check in, get a table. And I just love this open concept with the kitchen. It looks so nice. Like you may not get the best of food here, but you can grab a drink, probably order something simple like some fries. Let's actually check out the menu. Um, so let's view the menu that they chose here. So the menu here is very simple. Uh, look at this popcorn, pretzels, grilled cheese, hot dogs, pizza, ice cream. It's very simple things. And so I love that attention to detail to the restaurant because there's no way you're going to get a filet mignon here. Okay. <laughs> What's really cool too, is that you have little scoreboards here, which I think is really cool. Sometimes I don't use the bowling stuff pack as much as I would like to, because I just forget about it to be honest with you so i do um so when i do find good bowling alleys like i i i just i love them and they stick with me forever now we're in brindleton bay which is totally my bay we are checking out the whiskerman's diner created by chaos kitten 666 and i absolutely love this diner it was featured in ramona um in that lp i don't know if you guys ever watched it it is literally outdoor eating and it's so <laughs> cute like just visually it is so awesome to have this in brindleton bay you do have a little bar here to grab some drinks you know maybe you don't want any food and then in here it's the kitchen which is just nice well sized you know get that food on time and i love how you can just look out while you're cooking you can see the chefs making your food and then check this out like hello you always have to test your lots at night because what if you decide to grab a late night snack like oh my gosh how romantic is this here is the next restaurant it is called la bonne cocotte and if i pronounced that wrong you could totally correct me in the comments um this is by one of my favorite creators ns production 99 it is an amazing lot and literally all the lots that they've that they've made for henford on bagley specifically are just amazing i've I love it. I have to show this one off because it fits perfectly on this 20 by 15 lot. It is a restaurant. I feel like I haven't seen enough like Let's Plays in Henford on Bagley anymore ever since Cottage Living came out. So it's really nice to find lots to kind of get you back into the groove of this pack again. And this is perfect. So there's big seating, you know, for a big family. And then there's like these little two tables out here. But what's awesome is like, you know, obviously you may not find a seat because it's so 
tiny in here <laughs> but there's ample enough seating outdoors and that's what i love like this is the place that you go to for some brunch this is the place that you go to with your family like i can imagine big families coming here and actually having space to sit now this next lot is a doozy we are in strangerville yes yes we are this is probably one of the most interesting <laughs> like attention to detail type of lots ever it is amazing it is called bessie's diner it is created by why ever who is awesome by the way and they know it because i like tell her all the time um but i love like look at all the cow plants back here it is this broken down perfect diner in this rancid place like you already have this place that's full of mystery so it's like eat here at your own risk are you ready for this let's put the walls up as you can see we have a cow plant in the back we have some uh, meat in the back. <laughs> Let's just take a look at the description. As you can see here back in 2020, I'm all like, the description, how did I miss this one? Wonderful. Who's hungry? This is the question posed to you by atomic lettering on a faded billboard alongside a desolate stretch of desert highway heading west to Del Sol Valley. Me, you think to yourself, I'm hungry. That thick slice of layer cake pictured on the sign looks absolutely divine. A friend, fellow traveler, heed this warning, keep driving. The question the billboards ask isn't rhetorical and that cake isn't a cake at all. Bessie is hungry. Look at this attention to detail, dude. Like you cannot beat this. It's so... <laughs> It's just so amazing. I don't know how why ever did this, but it's awesome and it just looks gnarly. Like, do you see the cow plant? Do you see the faux meat back here? Like, what even is this? So for storytelling or whether if you just really want to eat here, then like, ew, do you see this? this is so gross. It's so gross. Oh man, that is so gross. I didn't even notice that right there. This is definitely one of those fun lots that you would go to if you're you know, fill in Strangerville and you want to play this story out, plot this in and it'll really, really give you that vibe, you know, that you're somewhere you probably shouldn't be and there's something mysterious going on. I am so excited to show you this next lot. It is the Asian restaurant created by Arky Sim 7. I love it. I'm someone who just gets a kick off of like lines and just very well designed things. And this restaurant just never disappoints. It is so aesthetically pleasing. It's actually in Windenburg, which I feel like a lot of people don't play in Windenburg anymore, but I, I freaking love it. Okay. I love Windenburg. I, I'm just, it's amazing. There's so many layers to it. And so I love that this is actually placed on um, a lot in Windenburg. This is perfect for a date. So, you know, there are no tables here. The tables are actually like inside these little nice little areas let me just like make it nighttime so you know here are the tables we have about four in here we have a bar if you go over here here are actual tables for bigger seating which i love because this seems like you could kind of like rent out the room and actually like have like you know a wedding party there or something you know like a engagement party engagement dinner or something like that lavish bathroom perfect and then look we have this beautiful like clean kitchen like even the kitchen is hip like how do you do it like it looks so nice and everything is so organized like and clean there's actually two kitchens which is like unbelievable obviously in a restaurant like this you have to have the best drinks ever so the drink menu is just amazing and the appetizers i love the usage of all the like crazy food that we have in the game because i never do what's it called the exotic foods or something something that they call it but with the foods like this you actually can have your sim take a picture of it at the table like with the regular food you can't do that but like with the special foods like semi firm beet noodles like you can take a picture 10 out of 10 recommend <music> We are now in Brightchester, and Brightchester is very sentimental to me. Uh, this is where I had my Discover University Let's Play, and I, I mean, from start to finish, that was one LP that I completely finished, and it, it, it's just amazing, the concept. And this is one of the lots that they visited. It is called Mariadox, and it was created by Sun City Sims, and it is so cozy and just so perfect for this world. It's like it's cozy enough to be in Brightchester. It's also hip enough for the university kids with like the lights on the outside here the booths the little like details on the walls like it has this co cozy but like hip vibe like they'll never really renovate too much because it needs that essence you know like look at the ping pong table here the little vending machines neon lights we have some karaoke in the corner here like it's so freaking cozy and i would literally only go here at night 
because it just feels so cozy. And the bathroom is just like beat down, rusted, busted, but it just, it's so, it's so cool. As you can see, I just, I have sentimental value with this lot. So thank you, Sun City Sims, for making, like, like if I play in Brightchester, this has to go here. Nothing else can go here. So I'm going to show you two other bars that I absolutely love because, hello, you need your Sims to go to the bars, okay? Bars, nightlife, like, what's not clicking? You have to have good bars in your game for your Sims to have a nice drink and unwind and have fun with their friends and dance the night away. This is the Rainbow Room Gay Bar and Club created by Pixie MJ, and it's literally so perfect i love it so outside you see these beautiful rainbow lights you go inside and what i love about it is that hello it is just the seating the seating <laughs> the lights everything so you have your rainbow lighting here you come over here and there's like this lounge area and it is so just zen and colorful and nice like i just i'm okay with my sims being able to just sit and talk to each other like have your sims play some music and just chill and talk there's a downstairs let's go downstairs first so downstairs we have the bubble blowers and the little like foosball tables it's just very like underground and chill like can you imagine the music blaring the tv on like it's such a vibe like, i don't know how no like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's such a vibe. So if you go upstairs, the official dance floor, okay, where you're gonna like bump, bump, fist bump your way into happiness. Like look at all the art, the DJ booth, the seating here, and then this big dance floor. Like this is just so awesome. And again, like I just love the colors. <laughs> you cannot go here in the daytime. It's just, it's not gonna hit the same. It has to be during like the nighttime. Here's the next bar. It is the Herschel Pond Road created by Moonlight Al ES and I love it. When a builder can put me in the mood of the space that I'm in or the world that I'm in, I am just instantly like captivated and I want to play in that world even more and that's exactly what this gives me. You come inside here and you're like what the heck is this? This looks like an abandoned train station. There's papers everywhere. There's a bed a generator a stolen atm <laughs> empty vending machine um you know maybe this was a store you see empty shelves like what the heck is this uh when you go upstairs it's even worse there's coverings on the wall again you know a bed generators uh, old office you know it it's like, what even was this? Even the third floor is just nothing but papers and boxes. So ultimately, you're like, you know, I need to leave here. My date told me to meet meet them at uh, Herschel Pond Road, and I feel like I'm about to meet a serial killer. <laughs> but don't fret. Just go downstairs. Ooh, dun, 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 dun. Like, see, like, here's the stairs, okay? Or the ladder. So basically, someone turned it into a whole nightclub down here. Uh, actually, it's just a bar. But it's cool. You might as well say it's a nightclub. So how how freaking fun is this? So here it might be like the little room of whoever owns this place. I don't know. But look at this. So the DJ's here. You know, you have a TV. The DJ can be here. We have a nice little lounge area where you can sit at. <laughs> It is just so transformed down here. You're like, what happened? You have a little like vanity, you know, vanity stations. I feel like this is for, you know, the strippers or something to get dressed in and start coming out. Like literally it gives that vibe and it's just so fun. Look at the bar area. He's like, yeah, what drinks do you want? Look at this. They have Dennis Kim serving drinks. This is low key, okay? You're official if you know what's down here. You could be sitting here having a drink. Look at Judith. She even knows what's up. And you could just watch everyone like on the stage dance and stuff like that. I'm trying to tell y'all like <laughs> the dancers come, the dancers are coming out at night. Before we end this video, I do want to show you two gems that I really love because I love taking my sims to the gym, you know, just to give them something to do. This is the Pectoral Fitness Reno, and it is by The Big Stink. Very interesting creator name, but shout out to them because I absolutely love this lot. I used this particular renovation in my Ramona LP. I love that we have the nice fancy uh, fountains here, or whatever they're called, and you have a little desk. and. It's just really well laid out. The bathrooms are in the middle of the gym, which is really nice. There is an upstairs, but I have to show you this pool. Uh, I love it. It's the reason why I used it for Ramona because I just love how rich it looks, but without being too fancy. I just love how this works because instead of filling it with extra just rooms or whatever the case may be, you can look down, see the people in the pool, grab yourself a bite to eat. You know, you can hire a barista if you like so you can get some things or just make something yourself. And then here is the yoga room gotta have yoga in Delso Valley so they can keep their zen. The workout room literally has a humongous TV. 
uh, and right in front of the treadmills. So you can watch a little TV while you work out. There's a rock climbing station, which I love because I never use this thing unless someone places it in their build. Like it's just laid out so nice and I really love that attention to detail. And the last lot that I want to take a look at is also a gym. It is the Harbor Health Club version two created by Sil Rose on the gallery. It is so nice. So I've been using Sil Rose's save file. Um, I don't use it as much anymore, but when I first started YouTube, that was like the only save file I would use <laughs> when I played The Sims. And originally this same uh, gym was actually in Willow Creek instead. So instead for version two, it's actually moved here in Brandleton Bay and I am absolutely digging this so much. So let me just drop these walls here. It's still very similar to how it originally looked, if you remember, if you've used this a lot before, but I just love it. Like, I love the blue. I love the pool area so much because of the skylight. Like, this is so nice in gameplay because your sims are just literally right underneath the sun and it just illuminates the space so well. And I just, I love that right there upstairs we have a nice little yoga station we have the massage get a, get a massage get a manicure pedicure all that good stuff and then of course we have the bathrooms and then the solo massage table i love that too and then out here is where we have the meditation stools which i think are very nice because it's right here on the top here like imagine just meditating right across from the sea like could you just imagine like you're just sitting here meditating in all of this water like i just it's so relaxing so i actually really do love this version better than the first version that sil rose created and i think it it fits uh brindleton bay so well and those are all the lots i had to show you again this is like a hodgepodge of lots that i just quickly came up with that i do play in uh in the next video i can do some more like categorized videos like my favorite lots for just brindleton bay or just willow creek if you would like that I will also be open to doing residential home like residential lots too if you guys are interested in that let me know right now in the comments because I just love being able to share this type of stuff to help you like have fun in your game too so if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and I will see you all in the next video thank you all right peace out